Good afternoon. The coronavirus pandemic continues to grow. Very sadly, overnight, 87 more people have died, bringing the total to 422. And our hearts go out to their families and their friends. Yesterday, the Prime Minister announced the most radical steps yet to slow the spread of this virus. And these steps are not requests, they are rules. You should stay at home, except to shop for food, for medical reasons, for exercise, or for work, including caring and volunteering in the coronavirus national effort. We understand how significant these steps are. We ask for your forbearance, but I think that the public knows that this is important and they know how vital a task it is that we get a grip on the spread of this virus and slow it down. The more we follow the rules, the sooner we will stop the spread. And so everybody has a responsibility to follow those rules and where possible to stay at home. I know how worried people are and while this is a great time of turbulence, it is a moment, too, that the country can come together in that national effort. As the next step in that effort, today we launch NHS volunteers. We're seeking a quarter of a million volunteers, people in good health, to help the NHS for shopping and for delivery of medicines and to support those who are shielded to protect their own health. The NHS Volunteer Responders is a new scheme set up so that people can come and help and to make sure that the NHS and the local services that are needed get all the support that they can. I can also announce that the call we made at the weekend for people to return to the NHS has been incredibly successful so far. So far, 11,788 people have answered that call. 2,660 doctors, over 2,500 other health professionals and pharmacists, and 6,147 nurses. And I pay tribute to each and every one of those who's returning to the NHS at its hour of need. In addition, from next week, 5,500 final year medics and 18,700 final year student nurses will move to the front line to make sure we have the people we need in our NHS to respond to this crisis. In total, that's over 35,000 more staff coming to the NHS when the country needs the NHS most. Finally, I can announce today that we will next week open a new hospital, a temporary hospital, the NHS Nightingale Hospital at the Excel Centre in London. The NHS Nightingale Hospital will comprise two wards, each of 2,000 people. With the help of the military, and with NHS clinicians, we will make sure that we have the capacity that we need so that everyone can get the support they need. But no matter how big we grow the NHS, unless we slow the spread of this virus, then as we've seen, those numbers will continue to rise. And that's why it's so important that everybody follows the advice and stays at home. The final point I want to make is one of thanks. As Health Secretary and as a citizen, and on behalf of the whole country, I want to thank the staff of the NHS, those who work in social care, all of you, not just the doctors and nurses who normally get mentioned, but the pharmacists, the paramedics, the managers, and all staff across the board. You are the front line in this war against this virus, and we all pay tribute to you. You're going to give your all over the next few weeks. And I want you to know that we salute you and I will strain every sinew 
to get you everything you need to keep you safe so that you can do your job keeping all of us safe.